Evening folks, it's 8.30 and it's the Saturday night of the 9th of February 2013. I've got a map of the sky, I've got a map of the heavens open on my computer in front of me. And yeah, in 12 hours time, it's the Aquarius new moon. It's the new moon around the world, it's the start of a new year in a number of cultures. Great, it's an Aquarius new moon. I may concentrate on that tomorrow morning. But at the moment, I'm just looking at this and I'm looking Sun in Aquarius, Moon in Aquarius, Venus in Aquarius. And then right next door, Neptune in Pisces, Chiron in Pisces, Mercury in Pisces, Mars in Pisces. Seven planets in less than one, in less than 30 degrees. And this is a real concentration of energy. And this is the start of a triple new moon cycle. This new moon, there's a stellium, Sun, Moon, Venus in Aquarius. The next new moon, there'll be about five or six planets in Pisces, possibly even seven. Following that, the new moon in Aries is an absolute kicker, Sun conjunct Venus and Mars. So we're looking at a lot of new beginnings over the coming few months. And I'm suggesting that out of the chaos of recent years, we're going to start to see something, I don't know, a bit more innovative, a bit more original, a bit more futuristic, because God knows we need it. Now, I've done a bit on Mars conjunct Neptune. I've done a bit on Mercury conjunct Mars. So let's do a bit now on Mercury conjunct Chiron. When I see Mercury Chiron in people's charts, Often I end up saying to them that when younger, and by younger I often mean under 40, sorry folks, but that's the way it is, um, I find that people with Mercury Chiron, they go through periods in their lives where they really allow themselves to be shut up, where they're told that their opinions don't matter or that they're not significant, where their mind isn't important enough, where they can't think correctly, or, or their opinion isn't wanted, or they're just being told to be quiet. This is often the case with Mercury Chiron, and over a period of years, it produces a kind of internal mental mechanism that suggests devaluation of oneself. There comes a point at some stage, inevitably, in everyone's life, where they turn around and go, OK, look, I've tried for years to get rid of this and it isn't going to go away, so let's stop beating myself up. And at the mental level, you create that space inside oneself for the shadow to come out and play. When you do that, you become a lot more mentally integrated. And often I find that people with strong Mercury Chiron connections, as they get older, they tend to become catalysts for other people. Often just by listening and nodding their head and agreeing, because sometimes all people need is to be heard, to be listened to, to make them feel valid. And Mercury Chiron people are great listeners and sometimes they have the knack of saying exactly the right thing in exactly the right place. I don't know how they do it, but they do. It's quite a magical aspect. It's very, very powerful in the charts of long distance runners, motorcycle riders, horse riders, and also people who have um, dodgy heels and ankles for genuine Achilles heel. Sometime in the next day or so, I'll try and wrap up all this sort of multi-Pisces conjunction business that's going on. But in the meantime, it's new moon, there's fireworks going off all around the world. Have a good one. Catch you in about 12, 14 hours time. Good night.